A very good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you so very much for joining the Life Signatures Radio, a daily podcast on purpose, productivity, and resilience. It's been a roller coaster of episodes where we've been talking about the subject of work. It's like, I think, over 40 and counting, over 40 episodes have gone into this uh, series where we've been talking about work, 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 and work. And we're going to continue doing that today. We're coming to a close of a mini series within the larger series. We've been talking about the eight things making people at work not to work. We're going to look at the eighth. We've already done seven. I'm going to do a recap for you on those, and then we're going to do the eighth. Until we come to the realization that we were born to work, that work is a blessing and it's not a curse. Until we come to that particular moment in time, we might always be having excuses and we might always not be putting our A game or we might always not be doing what we're supposed to do in the first place. So let us change. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. joining for the very first time uh, since we started talking about this you might have missed quite a bit of things that we've been talking about we've been talking about why people do not work at work and let me just give you some of those things in fact let me do a recap a complete recap for you we're talking about the eight things that make people not to work especially at work number one Distractions. We are one of the most distracted generations since Adam. We are distracted by our phones. Forget about even being distracted in our minds. Our minds are unfocused and they are scattered all over the place. We are distracted by our social media. We are distracted by things at home. Distracted by dreams and all that stuff. We have an indisciplined. In fact, number two, the reason as to why we don't work at work is because we are indisciplined. We have not planned, we have not done uh, mapping, mind mapping for what I'm going to do. You don't know what is supposed to be done today. You don't know what is supposed to be done this month. You don't know what is supposed to be done this quarter. Even if you know, you don't know why they're supposed to be done, you are indisciplined. You've not planned. Look at your calendar. Your calendar is filled with other people's agenda, not the agenda for your work. So that's not the second thing. You are in discipline. Number three, we do not work because we procrastinate, especially those things that are tough, difficult to do. Something that's supposed to have been done last month, it's going to be done next week. Why? Because it's difficult. Our minds don't want to, you know, bite into something that is arduous, something that is difficult, something that's uncomfortable, something that's laborious, something that is demanding, something that's involving, something that is sweaty. We want to do things that are easy, cozy. And that's why we do not work at work. We are totally disengaged. Number four, people do not work because they have the mentality of jobs. The mentality of jobs says, I only work where I am paid. And therefore, when you go to work, you only do the bare minimum. 
You don't go the extra mile. People cannot depend on you to recommend. They cannot depend on you to solve problems that have been sticking in the organization for years on end. You are there, you are seated there, and the problem is there, and you 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 just giving excuses. You, you recognize there is a problem because you don't want to solve the problem because there is no extra incentive for it. There is no bonus in solving this problem. That's the mentality of a job. You're working to be paid. You're not working because you care. And that's why, number five, people do not work because they do not have purpose. There is purpose inside of your life, but the work that you're doing is not connected to your purpose. You don't love what it is that you're doing for one reason or another, and yet you still draw a salary in there. This is the third year you are there. What are you doing there? You're not helping humanity to stick in a job where you lack purpose. And that's why you don't work. That's why you don't shine, actually. That's why you're, you're, you're there doing the same old, same old. That's why they cannot count on you for anything novel, anything constructive, anything new, any recommendation. They can't count on you or, or on anything that you're passionate about. You, you have not invented anything. You've not innovated anything. You've not brought anything new. You've not championed anything. You've not finished things. You've not been known to have done something. Because you lack purpose. How can you do that if you have you don't have purpose? You can't. The sixth reason as to why people do not work at work is because they are seeking coziness. They are seeking comfort. They are seeking corner offices. The agenda is to have a corner office and nice parking slot. The agenda is to have servants coming and serving and bowing before you. Bringing you tea at every uh, interval of two hours. Bringing you chamomile tea. You are looking for comfort. That's the agenda. We have missed the agenda. The agenda for work is not comfort. The agenda for work is to produce. The agenda for work is to change, to contribute, to impact, to to bring things, to create things, to make things happen, to move stuff. That's the agenda for work. But if you are looking for comfort, comfort is the byproduct of our work. It is not why we are working in the first place. It is not so that you can be bosses with titles and positional leadership. No, that's not what we work, my friends. Change that mentality. The seventh reason as why people don't work is pure old laziness. You are lazy. That's why you don't work. You are lazy bones. Lazy bones. That's why you don't work. Those are the seven reasons as to why people do not work. The eighth reason, and we bring to a close today. People do not work because of natural and man-made causes. See, the last way that people are kept from work has to do with things that are outside outside of their human control the other stuff you are in charge seven is the number of completion you are in charge of those seven things the relief though is that the natural causes are not necessarily permanent things that are outside of your control sometimes they're not necessarily permanent in very exceptional circumstances can they be prolonged Granted, some of this can leave a very devastating effect for a long time. And that too, we must overcome and we must continue to work. And our best efforts will be to cover from any setback and make sure that we have recovered fully. That the world throws at us any setback, any crisis, any uh, problem, the world throws at us, we make sure that we have recovered from it. So that we can begin to work and we can begin to prosper yet again. These natural and man-made causes, we need to have a mentality that they have got to be shoved off of the way so that we can go back to our calling which is to be productive as a human race. That's it. That's it. In fact, the reason why we must attack every setback the reason why we must overcome every setback the reason why we must overcome every crisis is so that we can create another opportunity for us to continue working that's it in discussing the subject of work it is interesting to know that it is central to the makeup of the human it is central work identifies who we are work helps us to deploy our purpose Work is a great source of fulfillment. Work gets us nearly for all our psychological needs. We talked about this. There are so many benefits at work that we accrue 
as we've already discussed in the previous mini series. However, that be as it may, we find ourselves over and over and over again really not working as we are supposed to or as we are ought to. For the most part, what causes us not to work is not necessarily that which is an outside force invading us. For the most part, what causes us not to work is family within our grasp, within our control, within our mandate to overcome and to challenge and to rise above. We must deal with these things firmly and get back to work. That's why we were born in the first place. Ladies and gentlemen, I have come, believe me or not, to the close of this long series that started from episode number 1645. Is it 45 or 35 right there? Today, it is episode number 1716. Those are many episodes. That's a book. Maybe it will be a book one day. But I implore you, whoever has listened to this, any bit of any one of this on the subject of work, Your glory is in work, not in anything. Your glory is found from work. If you're a young lady, your glory is not in showing off your body so that you can get married to the most richest man. You know why? Because the beautiful ones are not yet born. If that is the ticket, there's someone more cuter than you coming up it's just that he hasn't seen that person your glory my friend is in your core work your core labor your calling and your purpose in life move heaven and earth and get to work and i wish you all the very best in this endeavor in the years to come That when the curtain comes to a close on my life and your life, you will look back with a smile on your face, knowing that I did that which I was sent to do. And therefore, all I'm waiting to hear, in fact, I'm already hearing this, well done, good and faithful servant. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.